We're going to head on downtown to the ice at fifth third field. The Walleye, they're wrapping up their 2021 portion of the season, taking on Indy opening period. Scramble out front, Billy Christopoulos. He has the initial stop, but it's Carl Elmir with the rebound. He finds the back of the net. The Fuel take a 1-0 lead. And then less than a minute later, Chris Martinez, TJ Hensig behind the cage, off the goalie and in. What a goal. He ties this one up at one apiece. We're going to stay in the first. Randy Gazzola at the point fakes and fires for his third goal of the season in Toledo on top with a 2-1 lead. In the second, Brady Tomlack drops it back for Keegan Houdshell. Wrist shot and the goal, the walleye in front, 3-1. Later on, Mitchell Hurd, he forces the turnover at center ice. The Walleye with a two-on-one Hurd to John Albert, shoots and scores. The Walleye extend their lead to three. They continue to pile it on though, seven to two. The final, Christopoulos, 34 saves in the win as the Walleye wrap up the 2021 season downtown. One goal, hopefully he's not gonna beat us here in an outdoor game. And uh, we wanna stick with what we were doing. We knew this is Indy's fourth game uh, this week, only our second. So we should have had the, the energy and, and the jump and obviously trying to get on them there and fed off the crowd that was here tonight and got those two quick ones to take the lead into the second. It's Billy Christopoulos, he's, he's been an unbelievable player for us here as of late. Obviously, we, we've we seen uh, Billy a couple years ago and what he can do, and he's certainly performing right up to those standards and even better. Yeah, I couldn't be happier with the way he's playing and, and, and happier for him, to be honest with you. Claire Dow and Matt Melzak join us once more from Fifth Third Field. All right, thanks out here at Fifth Third Field, a victorious two-man to talk about here tonight because the Toledo Walleye. Claire, it had been a while. You had to go back to November the last time they had really scored more than four goals in a game. Early December, the last time they had scored four goals. This team kind of lost its way a little bit offensively, but boy, did they find the offense tonight. They really did, and really the first period, it kind of felt like that maybe that would happen again. It would be a low-scoring affair. The Fuel got on the board first with about seven minutes to play in that first period, and then seconds later, TJ Hensick with the score. A few seconds after that, Gazzola with the score, and then blew it wide open in the second. Four goals, six unanswered for the Toledo Walleye until the Fuel got their second on the board. Yeah, really, really a dominating performance from Toledo offensively, cashing in on their opportunities. And on the other end, even though they were outshot, and you know, the chances will end up being more in the favor of Toledo because they end up scoring more goals tonight. But you know what, Indy put, Indy put some opportunities on the front of the net. Billy Christopoulos, 34 saves for the win. What more could you say about Billy? I mean, my goodness, he's playing so well in this last cent through December. Obviously, he was the goaltender of the week back when you guys just got back from South Carolina. A tough one on Sunday, losing in a shootout, and then coming back today and getting the win. My gosh. And playing it in this type of atmosphere, too, where you don't have your usual sight lines like you would at the Huntington Center. Just an impressive an impressive showing for him. Yeah, he, he's going to be in the running for goaltender of the month. I don't think oh, there's yeah. any question about it with what he did in the month of December. It, it Sometimes when a goalie wins goalie of the week in a month, they usually have a pretty good shot on winning goalie of the month. He's going to have that opportunity. No question about it. Final thought from out here, uh, Claire, we saw over 10,000 here tonight over 11,000 on Sunday this past weekend. I, oh, you're talking over 21,000 for two walleye games. They, they, it was impressive what we saw here. It really was for the walleye games, for the St. Francis St. John's game, for the alumni game, just Glass City coming out in full force for outdoor hockey this Winterfest. Yeah, it really was a lot of fun and a blast tonight for all the folks that came out here and a New Year's home game for the Toledo walleye. Guess what? Hey, when they played at home on New Year's, Eve, they're one, one and all because they won tonight. <laughs> Seven to two, the final. Let's throw it back to you in the studio.